Hi all and welcome back to the channel again and today's topic in the Mission Editor series will cover the formation flying for AI aircraft. This was requested by Coxie99 on the forums and I'll show you how I set this up. OK, so here we are back in the trusty Mission Editor and I'll show you how I set up the two versions of uh, an AI aircraft following relatively close formation. One is to use the escort function uh, and one is to use the follow function. So let me run through what I've set up here. I've asked this E2D, when it gets to waypoint 1, to enter an orbit in a racetrack formation at around 6,000 feet. Then I've asked this FA-18C, lot 20, to escort the E2D using the escort function. Then I put in two mirages that have been told to follow the FA-18C using the follow command and I've also set up because it's a two plane element the type of formation that I want those two planes to fly in. So let me take you through it now step by step with each aircraft. Okay let's start with the E2D so what I did was I spawned him in I made it an E2D skill level high so it's pilot 3 uh, he's an AWAC, so that's that sorted. He's flying at a turning point at his start point, so all these are starting in the air. And he's starting at 6,562 feet at a speed of 270 knots. This doesn't really matter, um, but I'm just running through the uh, various elements within setting up an aircraft. At waypoint 1, which I'll click on now, I gave him the orbit command, so let's open that up. So in perform task, I selected orbit. I told it to do a racetrack from the drop down rather than a circle. I told him what speed to do and what altitude to carry out during that uh, racetrack orbit. So that's the E2D setup. It's following nothing, but the other aircraft are following it, in essence. So that's the E2D, set, E2D setup. Let's do the FA-18C. What I wanted him to do, because there are two elements to get aircraft flying close together. In this particular instance, I asked the FA-18 to escort the E-2D using the escort command. So let's look how I set that up. So in perform task again, I selected the drop down to escort. I then told it which group to escort. Now, I know that that is new airplane group. So I selected from the drop down, new airplane group. And then I asked the FA-18C to get relatively close. Now, the AI does have some intelligence, uh, but also bear in mind if you try and get things too close to each other, they may fly into each other. That's just the nature of the beast as it currently stands. I'm sure that's something that's being worked upon. Uh, but don't go... Uh, stupid with the, the distances, otherwise they will crash into each other. So, I set the FA-18C's position to a distance of 80 feet away from the E2D when he gets into close formation. I left the ele elevation at 0 feet. I could have set him a higher altitude than the E2D or lower. The interval I set again was 80 feet. Again, that could be used for multiple aircraft. So I always keep these two, the distance and the interval, as the same. The E2D has two waypoints, so that remains checked as last waypoint at two. With the escort functionality, you can tell the um, escorting aircraft to engage targets at a distance. So as soon as something comes within 32 nautical miles, then the FA-18C will engage that enemy aircraft. Not needed for this formation type flying, uh, but if you, you need to know about it for the escort ability. All these are checked. Airplanes, fighters, bombers. And that's the escort setup for the FA-18C to escort the E-2D. So that's the first element setup. If you want AI aircraft to fly in close proximity to one another. 
Then what I did was I put in two mirages here. And I gave them a follow command. It will apply to both aircraft, so they will follow the FA-18C. So let's look at that in a little bit more detail. So I'll double click on there. So what I did was I selected perform task. I said follow. I know it's airplane group 1 is the FA-18C, so I selected that. And then I did exactly the same as I did for escort, because I want them to follow as close to each other as possible. So I selected that to 80. I selected the interval to 80. And again, the checkbox, less waypoint 2, because they have two waypoints as well. I also added a formation for the two aircraft together. So I'm telling these two aircraft in which formation to fly. So let's have a look at that. Double click on it. I went to set option in the drop down box. And then I selected in the drop down formation. I then in the type selected echelon left, which means basically he will fly to the 7 8 o'clock on the left hand side of the first mirage. I then selected a close group formation in the drop down to group close 39 meters by 36 meters. So he will fly relatively close to his lead aircraft, which is the spot. And that was as simple as it gets. Um, it's not a very complicated situation, but please bear in mind again, I'll stipulate, um, don't get them flying too close together. Uh, you will end up with uh, mid-air collisions. But let me show you now how that worked in sim.